If you're keeping up to date, you know how much I love using Fluid Clamp for fluid typography on our websites to make it more responsive where your text grows and shrinks as your screen resolution does. But what if I now want to show you another cool way of doing it where you can embed it completely on your website to use as a tool and you can even use it as a short code to show on a page as well for your own purposes. Now I want to give a big shout out to Mark Harris who basically took what I'd done before and modified and created this super duper code. I went and tagged on a little bit extra at the end so we could have a short code. But I'm telling you now, you are going to love this. Let's just cut to the chase. It's a code snippet, right? There's a link in the video description. Go and copy the code. Look, if you want to start modifying with some of the styling of this, go ahead and be my guest. But the key bit right at the bottom down here is where we go and create a bit of a short code. And the short code we're going to use is called Fluid Calc. Let me show you exactly what this is, right? When you pop this snippet in and obviously you give it a title, stick it in code snippets, which is the number one tool to use, you save it, you activate it. And then this is what happens. Down here, we have a new feature called typography calculator. This is added to your WordPress calculator. Look at what we have here. H1, H2 going all the way down the body in P. I'm going to say we're using a root HTML of 16. I might want to change it to a 10. I can go in and change my sizes for my maximum and minimum uh, threshold or width of what I want my screen size to be. I can go and change my sizes. So I might say, yeah, let's go with the 16 pixel on the mobile. And for the desktop, let's go with a 46 like that. You then hit generate CSS. Da -da 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 -da, supersonic quick. Look at this. Gives you two versions. You go and use what you want. You might want to use this one and go and paste it in. Or you might not want to take the whole code. You might just want to copy a bit of it so you don't have to go and delete the semicolon and the curly bracket at the end and all of that malarkey. You can go and copy it. This is now inside of your WordPress dashboard. But remember I mentioned there was a short code. Let's go and pop in short code. And by the way, this is going to work on any WordPress site, okay? It doesn't have to be just Elementor. It can be anything. Fluid Calc. Hit apply. Now it won't properly bring it back for you until you're viewing it on the live. But that doesn't matter because now we are viewing it. And look, I'll do the same thing again. Let's see our root HTML is a nine and we're going to go with a size of 900. Let's hit generate CSS and lo behold, we have that again. This is on an actual page right now. And there'll be a link in the video description for you to go and actually see it live in action and test it out. So we've got a snippet for you to go and add it to your WordPress dashboard if you want. Or you could even integrate it into a page. Well done, Mr. Mark Harris. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm pretty excited. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain.